YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about the only gold strategy you will ever need to make stupid money every single day. And I say stupid money because it's limited, it's limitless, I should say, to how big your account size is. Typically I do say 1-2% max of your account size. However, if you do have like a thousand or two thousand pound account, I understand if people do risk 3-4% just to eat, just to get that extra bit of profit. If you are a consistent trade, obviously. If you're a beginner, then I wouldn't recommend going higher than 2% at all. In fact, you should be using a demo account just to practice your own strategies, get confidences built together, and then enter trades and see how they perform. These are all the trades we took yesterday live in our Telegram. Okay, If you guys do want to actually get in on these trades like the members did, and they're all making money, it's all proof, proof of entry, proof of their trades, proof of their profits in the Telegram. Just send me a message down below in the description, my Telegram, click it, send me a message and I'll add you to the group and you can start making money literally straight away. Um, these are all four trades that we took yesterday, one, two, three, and one, the last one was a loss. So why? what is the strategy and why do we enter these trades? So you can see here, it's mainly based off supply and demand. So a support zone, a demand zone, which is a resistance level, tied in with a bit of market structure, some EMAs, and it, all together it allows us to get a better, better edge on the market. So all you guys need to do is practice plotting out where these support zones are. So what does that mean? Areas where big moves have happened, okay? So typically these will be areas where price would hit, banks, big institutions would love and they buy straight away. So you wanna put another zone there. So typically we don't always come down to it. I know that, hence why we entered early the previous day and you get a massive push. And like I said, I do target a one to two. I know a lot of people do target higher. Right? We, we could have easily targeted a one to four, or maybe even a one to five, but there's no point because it increases your probability of winning if you actually keep it at one to two, which is still a very good and profitable um, risk to reward ratio to have. So keeping this level, kept bouncing off it, we've got multiple entries on this level, would have been out here potentially, depending on how tight our stop loss was, but we didn't enter here anyway. We got a bigger push. We actually drew our, the bit of market structure here, we can draw our supply, uh, sub, um, little trend lines, and obviously, as you guys can see, we are, I entered based off a zone here. I have deleted most of the zones so I could actually draw them back on for you guys so you guys can see how easy it is to plot and draw. So you can actually draw a line from here to here and you can see a nice zone. If we drag it back, we can even drag it back even further as you can see like this, see? And you can see that this area has been a major, major demand zone. So, yeah, so you can see here, bang, 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 and here. Every time we come into this zone, we typically see a bigger move downwards because people are satisfied with that price of the currency and they start selling, okay? So what I waited for, I waited for a big push towards that level. I wanted to see a break above it, retest down, break above it, retest down. And when I saw the EMAs cross right here, if I zoom in a bit more for you guys, so it's easier for you guys to see. If you can see that orange EMA and the blue EMA cross. So for me, I want to see the blue EMA cross the orange EMA, which shows downward momentum. You can see here, whenever the EMA is crossed, blue crosses orange, we go up. Blue crosses, or, did I say that? Yeah, downwards, we go down. Blue crosses orange, upwards, you go up. And that's just an extra confluence. So because we're rejecting off of a, my resistance zone and we got EMA cross, it just makes sense for me to enter a trade here with a tight stop loss above the previous pivot high and targeting a nice one to two. So this way you guys need to start practicing, okay? It's very easy, easy to start plotting and seeing these levels when you actually start practicing, going back on the chart, adding these levels, thinking how you would enter a trade. Would you have waited till it gets down here? If not, enter a trade here. And for example, okay, let's do it like that. Would you have entered the trade, If would you have waited till we get to the right here or would you enter here? If so, would you still have won the trade? So what you can do is put it up here and you can see that, yeah, you would have went into some drawdown, yeah, some into the close to the stop loss, but overall it would have smashed your one to two level, see? So that shows that you would have been a profitable trader there. And do it over about 50, 60 times and you guys will see how profitable this is. It generally is a profitable strategy. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing it for no reason. People wouldn't be making money off it every single day for no, without any reason. Like I said, join the Telegram, message the people, you can, they are making money. Um, another reason here, here, what I waited for, I saw a cross, so I waited. I knew that we would breach downwards, so I did actually enter as we had a nice wick towards downside. It's here. And I entered there, tight stop loss, and I continued it up. And luckily, it, it was a nice trade. It worked out. If, if, it did, if it did hit a loss, then it hits a loss. Do you know what I mean? It's one of the things you can't win every single trade. 
but we try and manage every single trade as best as we can. There are better things you can do to manage a trade. For example, I have been thinking about one strategy that I'm try kind of trying to test in order to see if it will actually work. So what I mean by that is, as soon as price comes down to my one-to-one -one level, so my halfway take profit zone, move my stop loss to my break even point. Okay, so that obviously saves us in case of a reversal. If a reversal happens, we hit our break even point, then obviously we're out of the trade, we didn't lose anything, we just took it with a nice trade. Okay, and obviously it just it just increases our chances of keeping staying profitable and obviously just keeps the, the balance, the account balance at a nice level. Uh, it stops us from taking more losses, increases the probability of wins. Okay, it's a simple thing that you can do to just increase. Another way you can do it is as soon as you hit one to one, um, like here it's world one to one for me. As soon as you hit a one to one, you take out 50% profits. So then if a trade goes reverses all the way up to here and hits your stop loss, you haven't lost anything because you took out 50%. So you just end at zero. So your balance is exactly the same as it started off. It might be a little bit confusing, but if I explain that decent, then it should be all right. So <clears throat> at this level here, I just had a little bit of an inkling that we we're going to pass this zone here. So I, I entered here because uh, I thought that it'd be the same level as this and the same level as this. And we had a big drop, big drop. And I should have put a stop loss a little bit wider. But if I look back at it, I wouldn't have done because it would have been too risky. For example, that it's already 90, it's already nine pips on gold. If you put it up higher, that literally is 24 pips on gold. So that's that's nearly three times more than I'm willing to risk. So yeah. It was just one of those trades that went in your favor once the stop loss was hit. You can't change anything about that. It is what it is. But you can see, with a little bit of patience, if, if I waited, like we did go straight into profit as soon as I entered the trade, bang, but obviously continued upwards. I should have waited there, maybe for a retest a bit higher and waited for the EMAs to cross, which they did cross over here. Okay, like if I show you that, if I zoom, move this, the thing out of the way, you can see that properly. They can see the EMAs crossed around that level, and that would be a nice zone to actually enter into the trade. Enter here, stop loss above here, and target a nice one to two. Would that have made it? Let's see. Okay, we can actually test that out right now. So if we put, we would have entered maybe a little bit late, maybe about here, stop loss up here, maybe just here above the line. One to two, would it have, yeah, one to two would have been smashed. So a bit of patience. We're all, obviously, everyone's always learning in this market. If you are trading Forex, you guys know that every single day is different when there's different news events coming out, different things have happened in the in the day, nationally, um, globally. Things always affect the markets, and you guys can see. And literally, guys, the best way to do it is just practice, okay? Like, for example, I'm looking at this now. I'm already seeing that there's loads of bloody demand zone, supply zones. Like, I can draw a little supply support zone here. Where is it? Rectangle. Let's bang this on here. Okay, you can see that this, look at this, beautiful zone. Okay, drag this on even more, make it a bit smaller, it's a bit more accurate, bang, like here. So these are the zones where as soon as we're hitting, we are getting nice big pushes off. You can see clearly here, clearly here. Okay, so when price comes down to it or close to it, you are able to enter in the trade. Okay, you can see that close to enter in the trade. And obviously this is where we currently are. <clears throat> I'm actually looking for potential entries into zones, into hopefully make some bank today. So if you guys are literally, like I said, you want to make some money, it's, it's free for a week. You guys make money and then continue onwards, okay? Hit that hit that link in the description, take you straight to my Telegram, message me on there and I'll get you started straight away. This is the only goal strategy that is with that, that doesn't have 50 indicators telling you when to buy, when to sell, which what volumes look at, which RSI has to go to. This is literally just reading the charts like a professional trader and analyzing where the next zone is for price to hit. It's the simplest way, it is the easiest way, and in my opinion, it is the most accurate way and the only thing you need to trade gold successfully. If you like what you're seeing, smash a like button, comment down below what you want to see in the next video or any other currency pairs or cryptos or anything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching.